Uh, thank you, Leonie, and uh, good afternoon, everyone, and thank you for making time to be here. So basically, um, this is about um, uh, humanizing uh, student lived experiences. But just to put a context in terms of why we are here today, I mean, as a university, uh, we have a strategic plan, 2018-2022. Um, it's got seven goals, but the, the first goal, the very most important goal, is about improving the student success and the well-being. And on the basis of that, we have set out strategic goals. Uh, and on the basis of that, we have set out strategic goals. And on the basis of that, we have set out strategic goals. And on the basis of that, we have set out strategic goals. And on the basis of that, we have set out strategic goals. And on the basis of that, we have set out strategic goals. And on the basis of that, we have set out strategic goals. And on the basis of that, we have set out strategic goals. And on the basis of that, we have set out strategic goals. And on the basis of that, we have set out strategic goals. And on the basis of that, we have set out strategic goals. And uh, from the VC's uh, office, uh, he speaks about the project care, uh, which then you know, uh, makes the university to care about uh, its student in ensuring that there is uh, uh, student success and well-being. And from the Division of Student Affairs, we, we speak about um, a humanizing pedagogy in terms of what it means to be a human whilst you are in the university. And so this project emanates within that context of trying to ensure that students at the university, they do have humanizing lived student experiences, which will facilitate their academic success and their well-being. And the SRC, in its strategic planning, then began to reflect on these uh, realities and then began to think about how to ensure that students graduate. And, uh, and therefore, they came with um, uh, their uh, motto that students must graduate, and from which um, the project um, of working to Huru image. So uh, on that one, I will then uh, give to the president himself so that he can outline uh, uh, in terms of uh, how we arrived here. Thank you. Um, greetings, colleagues and members of the media. Um, I think the dean saw my notes and now he was copying some of the things that I was, I was going to say. Um, but from, from our side, as, as student leaders, I think it is important to always reflect as to why we are at university in the first place. And with, with our campaign and our motto, which is students must graduate, it is important that, because we, we, we find that there are a lot of students that come into the system and then they, they get lost in the process. And we need to ensure that students, one, they understand the reason they came to university which is to obtain a qualification. And that qualification, it's more than a qualification because it means so much to your family, to the community of which they come from. So it is important that as a, as a student leadership structure and as a governance structure, we ensure that we push the mandate, sorry, the mandate of students must graduate. Now, part of our, our campaign, our, 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 our slogan, it's divided into three pillars. The first one is academic support, the second one is financial support, and the third one is institutional culture and transformation. Now, part of the hindrances that we've seen throughout uh, the past few years was the issue of um, not having access to the institution, access in terms of um, being able to pay for, for, for registration. Now, it has always been an issue where you find that registration amounts would cost uh, about 14,000. Now, which family has 14,000 laying around in January? It's almost, and it's not even a matter of race, this one. It's, it's, it's an issue that cuts across the board. Now, instead of always complaining, because the Kerry student leaders were, were, were known to, to complain sometimes, we've decided to take it upon ourselves to see how we can assist um, our own. And we came, up, we came up with this uh, initiative that we call the Walk to Uhuru, the Walk to Academic Liberation Under Students Must Graduate. Now, the walk basically, in fact, the walk on its own is it has two pillars or two tiers. The first tier, of which we are actually launching now, which we are going to walk from, from, from the Bloemfontein campus to our Kwakwa campus to, to raise funds for, for students so that they can be able to get access into the institution in terms of um, registration amounts, registration fees rather. So with the walk to Uhuru, what we, we had to sit down and strategize as, as an SRC, but along with other student leaders, and part of those student leaders come from the international office. And what we want to do as an SRC with this entire initiative, we don't want to take ownership of it, by ownership, I mean we want it to be a university initiative because 
this issue affects all of us. It might affect students directly, but the institution is also affected when students can't register, when you find that there's, there's issues happening on campus because of in access to the institution. So the first leg, as I've, as I've, as I've stated, is going to be a walk, a six-day walk, taking place on the, from the 17th of, 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 of this month. We're gonna walk from here to, to our Kwakwa campus. And one of the reasons we're walking from Bloom to Kwakwa is that we want to also move away from the inconsistencies that we've seen where you find that uh, comrades from the Kwakwa campus feel that they're not part of the institution. They feel like stepchildren, which is, which, is, which is very wrong. Because when you get your qualification, when you get your degree, it's not written um, Kwakwa campus or Bloemfontein campus. It's written University of the Free State. So it is to ensure that generally we're consistent like that. Now, moving into our second leg, which is going to be uh, a very steep um, uh, climb, I would, I would say. We're going to start in June, the 20th of June, South Nanzega, and then we'll go, go up um, Mount Kilimanjaro. Yeah, it's very daunting, but it's, it's safe to say uh, a lot of measures we've put in place, uh, especially because there's always a question of, <coughs> are you guys fit? Are you guys, you know? So yes, uh, we're not 100% fit for Kilimanjaro, but we have a training program. We, are, we have partners in the institution who are assisting us. Um, Kofsi, Kofsi Fit in particular, um, they gave us a very extensive training program, and my team members can attest that even this morning we went for a young uh, visit there. It was not necessarily very comfortable. I think the dean forgot to see, in his humanizing pedagogy, he would always say you must be comfortable with discomfort. So I think even ourselves were very comfortable in that discomfort in that gym there. But it's, like I said, it's for a good cause, and it's not about us. So the issue of training, uh, yes, we're training. Even the two gentlemen alongside me, uh, funny enough, I, I, I criticized them most when we went for evaluation because they are the older generation. Now when they've been evaluated, you know, like these chaps are actually fitter than most of us. Now, so it just shows that even the effort from staff members and from members of the university is there. And we want to appreciate that, that we even have members from our counseling department uh, to assist us psychologically to see if, you know, when we go up the mountain, we will nanziga like that. So um, I will also just ask that, because like I said, I'm the, I'm the SRC president, but I'm not the team. I'm not the, the team is not me. I'm a member of the team, and it will be only prudent if I had to introduce uh, my team to, 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 to everyone here. So you can all see, as you don't see, no son is, is, you know, is nanziga. This, this entire thing, but it's not the case. Um, if, you, if, if you allow me that, if I can just quickly just introduce my team, but not just your names, it's important to have you also seen like that. By team, I don't just mean participants. I mean the entire squad, because our squad goes like that. Um, I'm gonna start off with uh, myself. No, I shouldn't do that. <laughs> um, I'll, 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 I'll call up um, Mr. Pekumosa Zikali. Stand for us and come here. Mr. Katleo Lechowo. Mr. Puram Kolomban. Oh, he's here. <laughs> Obakeng Mosadi. Zenzele Mdleche. Oh, he's also, he's also here. Olile. Sizepe. Yes. And then our, 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 our support staff, we have uh, Mr. Bukarantakeni, Tato Lamini, Retabile Mozeki. I'm going to try and pronounce your name, Doc. Your surname. <clears throat> I'm going to try my best. Um, Dr. Melissa Paneshkoni. Is it close? Yes. <laughs> so this is, this, is, this is our team that will be nanziging to, to Kwakwa. And we, we hope that your support, uh, in fact, you will support us in this uh, walk to Huru. Thank you very much, comrades.
Now, I'm going, to, I'm going to conclude now. Now, of course, um, it's an initiative, but now the initiative is to raise money. Now, the question is going to be how exactly are you going to raise that money? There's a, a method or concept that we're using. It's called give and gain. The links will, will soon be shared to the rest of the world, which you, I think you comrades are included in that. You just take your smartphone, and then you just go on the link, and then every, every, all the steps are there. Uh, then you'll, you'll, I think you'll decide which are the amount that you want to, to donate to our, to, to our work to Huru. Under students must graduate. So, but our, our, our target, of course, just, just to be prudent and not to go too much, it's two million. But I'm sure we'll go, we'll go you know, above that, because I think your support, especially members of the media, to, to assist us in, 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 in publicizing this particular initiative to ensure that students have access to, to the university. I don't think you will, uh, you know, the media sometimes is known for other things, but I won't uh, divulge into such. But I think you will assist us in ensuring that that two million, we don't even go, you know, we go above that. We can even double it. If you remember with the global citizen, there was, there was a target, and then the companies just donated money, and then it just went up. So it's, it's going to be through give and gain. It is not going to my personal account or the dean's personal account. We have, we have an entity in the institution of uh, being the SRC fund that will, it will go straight into that fund. So it won't be going to any individual. You know, we know most, we don't want another Bosasa uh, issue here. So with, with that being said, um, I will just hand over to the dean to Nanzika like that. Well, uh, thank you, Mohamed. Uh, well, I think at this point it's just a question of if there are any particular questions um, in relation to what um, the president has presented. But I mean, in the main, really, it is it is about making sure that uh, uh, all the students who aspire um, to become someone tomorrow, they are being supported, and we are calling upon the world, we are calling upon you to be able to assist. And in terms of the amount, I mean, whatever amount that you have please put forward so that we can be able to make sure that uh, we support our students. I do understand that uh, out there, there is a false understanding that because um, there's been a declaration of free education that there's still no need for the support for the student. That can only be false because students are still struggling as we speak in relation to access. And once they access, they're still struggling for the support that they need internally to be able to perform better, to support better. Um, and so the, 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 this initiative is really, really to make sure that once the students have accessed the university, they succeed. So it is, it is really about the, the academic success of our students. So we call upon you uh, to really uh, uh, put hands together with us uh, in trying to make sure that we achieve um, uh, this particular goal of humanizing our students and our nation. Thank you very much. Thank you, colleagues. Um, from and then the floor is open for questions. Um, is there any questions from the media? Um, okay, thank you. Okay, I, I'm not sure who will, who will take a question, but I'll just throw it to the panel. I know this from my own issue newspaper. I have like four questions. Um, especially, I just want to find out uh, along along the road as you walk. What are specific what are specific Doing along the road, and then the second question is: um, you have you have you have set the target of uh, two million here. I think that is just being realistic. And in terms of students, how how many students are going to benefit out of that uh, two million rands? And the um, question is: uh, oh, uh, with relation to fitness, uh, what are what are specific uh, exercises or activities that you are
why this change? Thank, thank you. you. Thank you, Dr. Um, I think if we can do these four questions and then we can move on to the next four questions. Okay. Um, thank you very much, Kotato. Um, I'll, I'll start with the, the, the one of um, Uhuru. Um, I, if you don't mind, I'll just go up like that. Um, the Uhuru, actually, it's actually the peak of uh, Mount Kilimanjaro. And Uhuru actually means freedom. Now, when we are saying we want academic liberation, because even I think even our forebearers, um, even our former statesmen, Tatu uh, Nelson Mandela, even or they always spoke on how education is important for us to prosper. So now it is important that we liberate ourselves through education. And the only way for, for us to get educated is for us to come to school. And the only way for us to come to school is for us to have access to school. And the only way for us to have access to school is through such initiatives. So the one of Uhuru um, finds expression in that particular um, Nanzega. Now, the one of the fitness and altitude. Um, fitness, we first had to have evaluations. There's, they call this um, VO2 max, ECG. yes, an ECG for the older generation. Um, <laughs> yeah, because they must test if they can, they can still. <laughs> so that, of course, um, it limits your, your, your air, what, what, I'm not into biology like that, but, but, but you, you understand. So we first had to get evaluated to see if you actually stand a chance, not necessarily if you are 100% fit. So in the initial stage, you first have to be evaluated. But you can, you, you, you can actually take up this, this, um, this uh, Nancy Eka like that. But the other, then what, what, what followed after that was um, an actual fitness program to, to test, no, not to test, but to train us physically. But we, it was also brought to our attention that we, it's not just the physical that, 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 needs to be, that needs to be trained, but also psychologically. And that's why we have our, our counseling department, which also is assisting us um, in, in ensuring that when we, when we embark on this particular journey, we are, we are, we are, we are, we are, we are ready. But also, we are actually, um, on every Friday, we have classes, uh, Swahili classes, because now you're going to have Usama Bile, who just know this cause. Now, when he gets, in fact, when he, when he goes out the country, and not everyone is comfortable speaking English. So you can't just go there and now, so when I saw Komsha, it is important that so our Swahili uh, is also, you know, maybe not there, but at least we can comprehend um, the basics. So, but we are going to have um, simulations where we are going to like, literally climb up a mountain but our own first like, here in, in South Africa. Then we're going to Clarence to see if actually, you know, we're actually up for this. Because there's one thing going to the, the Kofsi Fed here, and there's a different thing actually climbing up that particular mountain. So that is, is, is currently in, in progress, but that is going to happen after the walk uh, to, to, to Kwakwa, the, 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 climb, the, the, the simulation test in terms of climbing um, the, the mountain. Now, the target of two million, like I said, it was just us trying to be, you know, um, prudent and, and, you know, we're downplaying ourselves. But I know with your assistance, of course, we, will, we might raise five. I'm just pushing my luck. And the amount of students that we want to assist, it's, 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 it's more than, because now our registration amounts is 14,000 for students that stay on campus. So our target is to assist as many students as we can assist, which is more than at least 500 students on each of our campuses, because we have three campuses. Now, we can't just say this, all, all of this money is going to Bloemfontein, but we need to ensure that even on our, on our Kakwa campus, they also um, reap uh, the, the rewards of this particular initiative, of which is the walk to Ukuru. Now, activities on the road. The biggest activity that is going to be happening on the road is the walking. Um, yeah, because it's, uh, it's a very long journey, but it's, it's, it is important that we can't necessarily say we're going to go to schools because 70 kilometers a day is no joke. Um, will be, because af after that, you need to make sure that you rest so that tomorrow you engage again. But the walk to Huru does not just stop 
once the work is complete or the climb is complete. It's going to be an ongoing initiative because one thing I forgot to mention is that the funds that we are currently raising now are not just are not for this year, actually. We're going to use them next year. So this is going to go on. Well, give and gain is going to is going to be open until 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 because once we go into um, the climb to Kilimanjaro, because that one is a bit more broad and extensive because it has other um, plans, sorry, um, initiatives that I will just allow Utbabum Mjlaiche just to expand on. That one, we have a lot of activities on the road, but we want to work on the main activity that will, that will, that will be happening is the walking. And yeah, Babu Mjlaiche. Thank you, President. Uh, Especially when it comes to the Kilimanjaro uh, um, mount, um, trip, uh, some of the activities, especially as, as an international office, one of one of our priorities is to make sure that we open the doors uh, 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 to our universities, University of the Free State, but also we allow our student to 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 go abroad or to go to other countries for education. And uh, one of the pillars is to make sure that we've got, uh, uh, we give this student a chance to, to, to have uh, uh, intercultural exchanges with other students from other countries. So as we will be going, we'll be also passing through some universities as well as some uh, probably high schools and we'll be engaged them in terms of the student exchanges, but also in terms of uh, even the, the, the academic exchanges. Uh, you will know that we've got even African studies here in the university. So we would like to have the exchanges in terms of the student, in terms of that. And uh, so basically, we will be uh, making sure that the internationalization in the UFS becomes prominent through this uh, trip. Thank you. To be honest with you, we started last year, ne? but this year we actually went for the, actually now it was just us wanting to, to train ourselves because we really knew that this year this is going to happen. And then, and then December happened. But we officially, officially, um, with the training from Kofsi Fred, we started um, in January. Yes. With the, with the official one, Gengok, where we have professionals giving us direction. And, and, and I think it's important to note from the, from the um, uh, preparation perspective is that, I mean, the individuals who, who are participating, I mean, they would have had their own, you know, personal uh, uh, space to train, I mean, it, some greater or less extent. And, and, and then, as, 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 as the president is saying, that in terms of the, the, the actual program, it's just to intensify that. And just to, uh, for the simulation part, I mean, we, we were also involved, I mean, as, as President mentioned that, um, you know, we will uh, either, you know, use the Lesotho or the Stellenbosch um, uh, as an option in terms of that simulation so that we can be able to, uh, to see whether we are ready. And in fact, uh, at the final stages, before we actually go for the, for the climb, Poch. Yeah, sorry, yeah, it's posh. My apologies. Thank you. Yeah, it's posh. Um, so in terms of the, um, uh, the climb, there will then be a final testing to make sure that now, after all of that, are we ready? So at any given point in time, if any of us is not ready, will not necessarily play the primary role of the actual work. I mean, they can play other roles of supportive role. So I think that is the, there, there is no um, uh, compromise uh, because that is part of our risk management and our risk management team is, is, is working with us and making sure that at any given point in time, you know, uh, any risk that, that there is, is highlighted, mitigated or eliminated. Look, I mean, uh, if, if you ask me personally, I mean, I, I, I train, you know, that's, that's what I do, you know, now and again, every time I find, I train, I run, I do all those things, so it's part of my lifestyle. So, 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 so that's what I'm saying is that you will find that each of us have that kind of lifestyle, but this is an intensive program. So hence then the program we're given is okay, now, because you are training for a particular uh, project, this is how you train, and so that you can be able to be ready for that particular um, uh, 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 climb, as it were, the walk. And so, for, for, I mean, uh, even again, I mean, uh, as for the walk, by next week, latest, Friday, we should be able to prove that uh, we are ready to walk 
on, 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 on Sunday. So it may well be that uh, uh, we are, and, but the bottom line is that there are those uh, 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 times that we must make sure that every given point in time we are medically okay and we are physically fit. Thank you. Can you take more than one? Uh, the, yeah. Um, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll operate it like this. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll ask the dean to respond to the one of the selection. Um, I'll just respond to you, um, my lady. Um, the first, it's not just about the media, because bef the, uh, the biggest problem that we had initially was to get approval from the university, and then that we only got recently. But before that, we had um, engagements with a lot of stakeholders, corporates, um, direct contact, even with, st uh, sorry, stakeholders in the university, like your counseling department, like your international office, like your Kofsi Fit, Kofsi Gear, and uh, CBM. So most uh, departments, internally and externally, we had communicated to them before. But now the problem was that you can't now start going outside without getting approval from the university. And that, of course, eventually came. So from, from here onwards, we're actually going to go engage one local government and provincial government. Hopefully they will. <coughs> and then we're going to engage corporates. And then I think there as well, we'll see if they will be able to you know, partner with us. Because like I said, this, this initiative is not apportioned to any individual, but to the student community and of which we want to ensure that they have access. But prior engagements were there, but it was in forms of formal meetings. But now we, we were not just going to be restricted to just the media, because after this, it is our duty as, 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 an, as an institution now to ensure that when we leave here, we engage all members of society. Because just to touch on, I think, what the dean said, there's a facade of this notion called free education. Education is not free. Someone might have announced that it was free, um, a very good friend of mine. But um, unfortunately, it is not free. For the fact that a student who is a SASA student is required to pay 14,000 to access an institution, it shows that it is not free and it was just, it was just a, some pipeline dream that was sold to us. But it is, it is important to ensure that society as a whole understands that and corporates, because in, the, they're in, their, in their heads now, it's like, no, I can't really, uh, from a, um, president announced that education is free, now they think it's free. So no, um, as per Langab, we're going to move from here um, to engage uh, corporates again and civil society. So I'll just hand over to the dean just to respond to the one of the selection process. Uh, <coughs> thank you, thank you, Mohamed. I think the, the, the most important thing um, uh, here is that because we're in a project of, fund, of fundraising, was to just start by saying, but what value are you adding, or are you going to add in this project? And, and, and I think from there, um, uh, obviously the people have got interest, then once the people that have interest have been identified, then they have to raise their hand to say, okay, well, what, this is the role I'm going to play in this process, whether as a primary or a secondary. And then, um, in terms of the, the, the people who are working and, 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 and those that um, are at Kwakwa or climbing, then the fitness, you know, uh, would, would actually uh, uh, also was uh, looked into, and hence then we had that preliminary uh, um, uh, evaluations. So that even if you, 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 you may raise the money, but if you don't nec you're not necessarily fit, you will play a different role. And, and of course, then the, the, the fundraising is very, very important, that as you are in here, uh, as, as these members, what, you must bring money on board. And so the, the people who are participating, they're expected to raise a, a certain amount of money uh, uh, um, uh, in, in one way or another. And, and of course, then the roles that they, they are holding within the university or in the student leadership uh, uh, as a way of trying to make sure that you galvanize you know, the support 
um, internally and externally. And, 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 and then of course, then the last one would then the notion of the skill and the influence. Um, so all of those put together, you know, then they, 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 they played a role. And of course, they were given different weights in as far, because I mean, you can be the fittest as, 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 as you can be, but not necessarily be able to do anything beyond that. So it was a combination of, of, of those, and I hope that I'm covering your, your question. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, is there any more questions from the floor? Okay. So with this, we will then conclude um, this media briefing. Um, thank you very much, and all the best to the team with this brave um, adventure for the good. Thank you. Thank you.